yeah, we got a video here. Uh, it's titled, This is Battlefront 2. This is Star Wars Battlefront 2. So, it's five minutes long. I'm guessing it's a trailer, along with some narration. I already can't wait for this. This is just going to make me more anxious, whatever they show in this. So, let's get it. Hi players, this is John Boyega, hey. and this is Star Wars Battlefront 2. With the dominator in the multiplayer battlefront as Kylo Ren, Shit. leading your squadron through thrilling dogfights in space, stepping into the boost of Iden Versio in a new single-player campaign, or mastering your skills in split-screen arcade, this okay. is a Star Wars experience like none other, with greater depth and progression than ever before. Star Wars Battlefront 2 has nearly tripled the number of locations, heroes, and vehicles as its predecessor. Thank you. It all starts Holy with a battle shit. Kamina, Yavin Paul, Hondor, Starkiller Base, and many more. Over 14 locations to explore across all three Star Wars areas. Star Wars Battlefront 2 introduces class gameplay. Choose from the assault, heavy, Specialists and officer classes, each with unique abilities, yeah. weapons, and weapon there attachments. You now that's the battle from battle. I But it's not all about the power of the individual. The better you play with your team, the more battle points you'll learn to call in powerful reinforcements, such as flame troopers or walkies, and a wide range of vehicles, both on the ground and in the air. There you go. Battle points are also key to bringing iconic Star Wars heroes into the Learn from your mistakes, EA. Like Darth Maul, Boba Fett, and Rey. You want to fight? Each hero has unique abilities for you to customize and master. Choose the right moment to call in your hero and turn the tide. And last but not least, we have Starfighters. Just like troopers, each Starfighter has a class. And just like battle points bring your favorite heroes into battle, they can also bring in your favorite hero ships, including the iconic Millennium Falcon, all with unique handling and upgradable abilities. The star card system has been completely rebuilt. These powerful collectibles exist for everything you can spawn in at, be it a trooper, a vehicle, reinforcement, or hero. You can find them in crates, or craft and upgrade them using parts. The rarer the tier of card, the more powerful its effect in battle. Okay. Choose the right star card for the right situation and get ready to fight. Star Wars Battlefront 2 contains five different multiplayer modes. Blast, fast-paced, close quarters combat. Strike, strategic, objective-based battles. Heroes versus villains. Where yeah, iconic yeah. Star Wars characters go head to head. Uh, Starfighter assault. Intense dogfights across high atmosphere and space. And galactic assault. Epic 20 versus 20 all out warfare. Damn. Not ready for multiplayer yet? <laughs> no problem. Perfect your skills and try out all your abilities offline. Play split screen co op versus all solo. That's what me and Santino and will be doing a lot of that co op. Star Wars Battlefront 2 single player campaign oh, yeah, debuts an untold story. The That's Empire what I'm waiting for. Helping bridge the events of the return of the Jedi and the Force Awakens. So what happens now? We retaliate, Commander. As Iden Versio, Special Forces soldier as equally lethal on the ground as she is in space, you'll fight for the future of the Empire, the galaxy breaking apart. With a few familiar faces along the way, it's up to you to rise as a new Star Wars hero. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is a massive one, and it's only getting bigger. With a life service that continues to evolve and grow, bringing new locations, challenges, and characters, such as Finn, of course, and Captain Phasma, into the fray. Heroes are born on the battlefront. This holiday, jump in with me and begin your journey. Yes, I thought they were gonna show Vader or something. 
Uh, yeah, I cannot wait for this holiday season. It's coming. I will definitely be jumping on that. No hesitation at all. So, yeah, they definitely learned their lesson from that rushed game that they gave us last time. It definitely felt incomplete. Uh, when they released it, there were only like a few modes. No story mode at all. Uh, the space battles weren't really even space battles. They were just in the air, in the atmosphere of the planet. <laughs> uh, and then they didn't release any DLCs with those uh, certain levels until afterwards. So you paid $50 for the $59.99 for the game. And then they had the audacity to make you want to buy the season pass, which was a, what, another 30 bucks? I could be wrong, I don't know. I just like, completely ignored that shit. I, I just, I remember when they did a Jakku, they did the Jakku map, that was free. When all the complaints hit the fan, when it first got released, they allow oh, here, here's a bone we can throw you. Here's um the Jakku level. The Jakku map you can play is free, um, but then they they released the uh, the Death Star map. Uh, I think I believe a Tatooine map, but it was part of a DLC package. Now I never purchased it. Um, just recently, probably like a one month or two ago, when they released the trailer to uh, the first trailer to Battlefront Two. They had a weekend where, you know, I just happened to, Santino just happened to want to play. And so I, you know, I log in, I uh, haven't played it for a while, and they're like, oh, this weekend, completely free. You get to play all the maps you want, unlimited time, you know, you don't have to pay or anything. I was like, I'm jumping on that, so, and that was the first time I ever got to play the Death Star map. So he was on that for a while, and, um... I believe he did a couple of space battles that were like in in space in actual space, um, yeah. But yeah, it was pretty much for some people, it was a disappointment. Um, and it looks like with this trailer, what they're doing, their what they should have did last time. You know, give us a story mode that we can play. Give us what we remember from the uh, Battlefront we used to always play. Um, on N64. No, wait. Was it N64? Jesus. I cannot even remember. When did Battlefront? The original Battlefront. Oh, no, PlayStation 2, right? Yeah. Why did I say N64? <laughs> I'm thinking of Rogue Squadron, um, which was a pretty good game, too. But, uh, no, yeah, Battlefront, Battlefront 2. Yeah, they were on PlayStation 2. Yeah. Yeah, place I remember the case. Yeah, uh, PlayStation Two. That was you know hours and hours of fun. This one looks like they're you know fulfilling that void that the last one completely missed. So, are you excited for it as I am? Let me know down in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you think. Are you gonna be getting a first day? Are you gonna pre-order? I uh, I didn't pay attention to see if there was actually a, a bonus bonus content bonus material if you pre-order through GameStop uh, I'm not sure uh, to like look into that but uh, <clears throat> I probably won't pre-order anyway but yeah um, if you enjoyed my reaction hit the like button subscribe and share if you did not eat a dick